How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another race analysis presented by New Type Cycling. We are rocking the maroon kits today. It is myself and Spencer. Real quick, guys, if you like what you see, if you appreciate the videos, please click that like and subscribe button. Share with your friends. Uh, you know the deal. We're trying to grow the channel. I appreciate all the help. We are at the Herbalife Criterium uh, just outside of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. This is the cat. 3-4 race. I had to check myself there for a second. Uh, and from the gun, we've got uh, Aaron from Gigawatt taking on the right side right here and already going off on a flyer. Uh, that dude is relentless when it comes to setting the tone and hitting the brake. So uh, it's going to be a party tonight. This is a 40-minute crit. Uh, look up at the track map. We have a slight left to right wind coming currently on the on the course take this left-hander it's gonna be a straight headwind it was pretty substantial um, and it's just one of those things you had to like really be cognizant of like try and protect yourself and stuff like that so we're jumping ahead in the action check the rider directly in front of me dark bibs he just took a drink of his water bottle and boom attacks well while he's taking a drink I'm like that's a great idea too and so I grab my water bottle and I get caught off guard and him another rider from this red team directly to my right right there and aaron from gigawatt are off the front and i'm just like totally missed out on that on that attack i would have loved to follow that wheel um and then now you have i'm surfing and navigating through some other riders that are just not willing to put in the work right now to chase something down mainly because they have teammates up on the break and so this is getting strung out there's a sense of urgency going. We're running 28 miles an hour. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with this course, it is 100% concrete track. We're in a massive parking lot right now. You'll see random cones and stuff like that. Uh, this is where all the big rig trucks come to stage for the manufacturing plant. Well, I feel super threatened by this and I just am navigating through all these other team members of guys that are currently in the break. And so I've got to rip out a quick 800 watts to to try and reel these guys in, and they're right there. They're they're right there. And look at the rear cam. I've got a decent gap, but these guys are cooking. And this is it may be hard to see on the camera, but this is a slight little kicker, and it's pretty painful. Got a guy coming up in the rear cam, coming by me. Gentleman straight in front of me. He. He just gives up. He's like, "I'm. Uh, this is too early for me. I'm not. I'm not in the game. Um, at least that's what I'm thinking." He's going through his head, going through right here, and this guy who just passed me just lets up, and I, I just don't. It's super frustrating. I don't understand why he just slowed down in front of me, and it and it catches me off guard. And what is it happens? I have a massive gap between the three guys on the flyer. Well, those three guys ended up getting together establishing a break well i'm currently on the front of the field right now and everyone's caught up on my tail i've just done a, a pretty decent effort for about a half a lap nothing crazy but i'm i'm looking over my shoulder and trying to figure out like who's gonna go after this because there's a couple of us that are are eager to bring this back look at this massive attack from my right and i'm just again another lap in a row caught off guard uh, from the attack no one says a word no one says up or anything to like warn me mainly because they've got teammates up in the break and they they want this thing to stick well it does they end up lapping us it's super painful for me to watch and sit back in the peloton in the field and try and deal with this so pushing onwards guys well i've been sitting in the field trying to conserve my energy and all that stuff and we're about 20 minutes in right now well i'm thinking like some guys are gonna counter or attack and boom here we go this is exactly what i'm waiting for and i told spencer that you know i'm gonna wait for somebody to attack and i'm gonna play it play my cards right and i'm gonna counter them so that's my goal right here is we're ramping up the speed to 31 miles an hour and we catch this guy on the green bike we catch him and everyone lets up and i just smash it and i'm like this is my opportunity to established a secondary breakaway myself i've got zach from gigawatt in my rear cam and i'm keeping the pace up high and i'm i'm willing to sell out for this this move right here because 
I'm tired of missing out on the breakaway. So I missed out on the first one. There's four guys in that. Well, I want to do my own thing now. Check the rear cam. I've got two guys following me. Again, we've got Zach from Gigawatt, and we've got another rider coming through. Well, Zach has a teammate in the breakaway. So what is he going to do? He's going to do absolutely nothing. He's not going to help me. He's not going to come through. And we'll hear some audio right here. You hear Zach shaking his head. I'm asking him, like, flicking my elbow, tell him to come through. And um, he's, it's super frustrating. He, uh, he said he wasn't gonna, he wasn't gonna give me the run around and uh, he's gonna be honest. He's like, I'm not gonna do anything. Uh, we're good buddies. It's, we race all the time with each other. He's a, he's a good hand to, and a good guy to be around uh, on stuff like this, so. But look at the rear cam. We've got, we've got a huge gap. We've got a pretty like, you know, eight second gap. And, and I'm, again, selling out for this thing because I, I do not want to have to deal with people in a sprint anymore. Like I'm tired of getting um, lapped and it's super frustrating. Well, finally I, got, I get this D3 rider who gets in front of Zach and I don't think he realizes that Zach is not going to do any work. He has a teammate in the front. Um, so Zach's not going to do any work because he wants that thing to stick. In hindsight, like I feel like, you know, Zach could have done something and, and could have like helped us out a little bit, and it, and it wouldn't have hurt his his team's overall win or chances for the overall win. I finally get that D3 rider to come through and do a short little 30 second pull. Here's me coming back through again. Um, that pull was short lived. And I'm again, it's me back on the front. And for some reason, this D3 rider, he doesn't slot right behind my wheel. Again, like he's put his hand up. Like, I don't think he realizes like what's going on. Um, or at least just the scenario that's like up the road to to make Zach from Gigawatt like not pull. Well, check the rear cam. We had a good like 10 second, maybe 15 second gap at one point. But now just the me just losing gas and, and losing steam and just not have no more watts in my legs to, to do that by myself, essentially. Boom, we get caught. Uh, it's just one of those things that's, you know, it's inevitable. Um, the wind was a big factor. Um, you need to have some teamwork in this. And in three of us, we could have done this. Um, you know, I know Spencer got up on the front for me and really helped them slow it down, but he can't do it alone. So, I need to work with those guys to make this happen. So it is what it is. Uh, I tried pushing onwards. <clears throat> the leaders have come through and they've lapped us and have caught back up the field. Well, now look up in the upper left hand corner of the front cam. We've got an attack from the leaders again. We're 30 minutes in right now and I'm really liking this. Spencer's right behind my wheel. Um, they've got a gap in front and I'm willing to like, you know what? like. You know, if they're gonna go off the front again and punish us even more, like I at least want to be on it this time. Like I want to be a part of that. Well, they're playing a little cat and mouse up there, and it lets me catch up. And I'm willing to to put in some work. Um, Aaron from Gigawatt is directly to my right, and I kind of give him, you know, a signal like, "Hey, like I'm willing to work. Let's go." And fortunately, he hops on, and we start ramping the pace up on the front and i believe we get a, a decent amount of a gap it's kind of hard to see in the rear cam because the sun and that and we're all single file right now but again i do not want to miss on the second break especially from the leaders so flick my elbow let aaron come through and look at this i I didn't pedal probably two pedal strokes as much as they did and look at this gap that appears and I'm like oh no and I start I start hurting on this little effort right here but we've got the field strung out again and I'm hoping this thing sticks um, I'm willing to commit to this help these guys out um, you know I would love to like lock in a fifth place and not have to worry about a sprint with with a ton of people but it, it doesn't end up working um, the field, you know, we, we kind of just get a little confused right here, even though like the speeds are still high, just the field is not, they're not willing to let us or let the leaders at least get away again, because that would be just, you know, that'd be 
absurd. Um, you know, a lot of these guys got some pride, and they lose some pride if those if they let those leaders get away. You know, for a second time, I, I don't blame them. All right, y'all, we are uh, pushing onwards to the tail end of the race here. Uh, we are coming to, we're on lap three to go. We're coming to two to go right here at the at the line. And, you know, ever since then, um, since the leaders did that attack, you know, I've just been kind of resting for the, like the past 10 minutes, kind of just taking it easy. Um, and now it's game on. Now the, the name of the game is jockey for position. You know, who are you willing to get your bars in front of and just maintain and hold a position? So that's all you'll see for these next two laps is just movement forward, backwards, left and right to try and like get in front of the guy in front of you. So you you can maybe get a lead out from somebody or whatever, but uh, it's tough, especially when you're outnumbered uh, on teammates and, and you've got guys just like sprinkled everywhere throughout the peloton. It's, it's tough to navigate to. And you know, I, what, what I think is tough about this course is there's no like strict boundaries it's just a massive open parking lot so you know guys can can go really wide and come around you or you know cut the corner or whatever oh there's oh so there was almost a crash right there on the right and it was terrifying some guys like i believe teammates bumped bars and stuff like that everyone stayed upright we're pushing ahead here's a good like coming to the line for the bell lap charge right here keeping the watts up, keeping the speed up. And you can just see like everyone's four or five wide. Um, it's tough. Uh, I, I honestly like don't mind like having a little bit more narrower crit or like having some barriers to keep people in line. And that way you can predict like if you're gonna get swarmed or not. But here's me just navigating a little bit through the field. Um, you know, I'm pretty honest when it comes to these sprints and stuff. Like, if I've been lapped and there's like four guys I know that are in front of me that have, you know, that have lapped me, I, I like to like let them do their thing and like not interfere with their their sprint and stuff like that. You know, like it, that's on me for for missing out. But we're smashing it down this back straightaway right here. Speeds are going up high. People are getting dropped off and like letting their lead out go and all out sprint right here to the line, guys. There you have it. Uh, I believe I came away with a P9 for today. Uh, nothing too spectacular, but when you when you already had four guys that lapped us, uh, it's it's not too bad. But anyways, uh, this series is going to continue. It's going to coincide with the fairgrounds uh, courses that I'll, I'll be posting up and stuff like that. So deeper into the series, I'll start like pulling up the uh, the points, and we'll we'll go over that and see like where I stand see where some teammates stand in some other categories and stuff like that and it's really gonna be a fun battle going forward appreciate you watching guys see you on the next one